Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Lainey and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry. Welcome to the diet word. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> so basically, um, as you might have remembered last week, I'd had a bout of tonsillitis and all that. Totally fine now. All of that's good. Whatever. And the week was fine up until Friday. Friday, I had breakfast, which was egg on toast. I had lunch, dinner, dinner as we say, which was um, chicken and broccoli pie, which was like chicken and broccoli in a creamy sauce with potato. It was um, from Marks and Spencer's. I had a Kit Kat. Um, I'll have had two cups of tea and just water other than that. Um, but yeah, after dinner, so I had breakfast fine after dinner, no, about, about 40 minutes after I ate, it all came back, basically. Um, so yeah, I had diarrhea again, which is a nightmare, so I chose, so I didn't eat, I, I didn't eat anything, uh, waited until, I didn't eat anything on the, sun, on the Saturday either. So today is Sunday, it's currently half ten on Sunday night and I tried some toast this morning. Now I debated about going out or having something to eat. Um but I just have no energy, <laughs> which is probably because I'm not eating. Um but anyway, uh, I thought if I if I go out then obviously I can't eat but because I can't risk being in the wheelchair and having diarrhea it just yeah makes makes me nervous so then I thought oh well I'll just have some toast and I'll stay in which is probably not the best idea because staying in isn't great either but the weather's just so pants isn't it like we've had so many storms upon storms I think we've had about six storms here over you know the, the last few weeks um, and I think there's more to come as well Anyway, that's a totally different story. So, so yeah, I decided to have some toast. So, um, that was fine. So it was about half past nine. So at eleven, um, or half ten, eleven, somewhere there. I started to get pains in my stomach, and ended up with to be gallbladder pain again. Um. Which, yeah, it's not fun. It went about, I think it was about half twelve one when it stopped. But it just wipes me out, absolutely wipes me out. Like, she can't get comfortable, you can't lie in any position, you can't, you know, it, I wouldn't want it on anyone, recommend it to anyone. <laughs> not that you can recommend gallbladder pain. <laughs> Hi, I recommend this pain. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> but like, yeah, I'd rather give birth, so that shows how severe it is. Um, it, um, yeah, so that lasted for then. I then went to sleep and I woke up at 10 to 6 tonight. So, my plans of going out, I was also going to do some videos. All of them went out the window and then I felt sorry for myself for a bit, which it's never good and I know this but it's just so frustrated I'm really frustrated ever since um, I was in hospital back in October I've just it's just felt like it's been one thing after another or another like either with my stomach or the diarrhea which I assume is connected to the gallbladder thing Um it seems like one happens and then the other happens or maybe it's IBS playing the gallbladder off I don't know I'm not medical or whatever but I just know I'm so frustrated by it because it feels like I got a couple of weeks okay and then you know what I mean and I was trying to limit like the amount of fat it like saturated fat in what I was eating so it's like you know what I mean so I wasn't having too many in one day but that didn't seem to help either, so I don't know. I really don't know. Um, 
so yeah as I said ended up in pain woke up at 10 to 6 tonight um, <laughs> it just it, do you know when there's just like loads going on and like you you just feel like you're drowning in it essentially but and then there's lots to do with the house I've got um, a delivery tomorrow um, what else is happening something else is happening on Tuesday hello I'm live twice on Tuesday as well then Wednesday I've got the hoist guys coming um, Thursday what's happening Thursday I'll get weird <laughs> I swear to God, if I get weird on Thursday and it still goes ahead, it's so far booked in, hopefully, um, and it and it doesn't change, and I, I do get weird. I like want a legit see like a whole human weight loss, like because this is <laughs> the only way to make this fair. <laughs> I think. I mean, I suppose that is a positive that I, I will show weight loss. I assume. Um, it's in, and I know that I'm supposed to look at the positives, but it's just been so many negatives recently that I just, yeah, not fun. On Friday, I'm getting my windows replaced in my house, which means that the dog's gonna have to live in my room for the day, pretty much. Well, he will not be happy. <laughs> um, not not that he doesn't dislikes me or anything it's just that there'll be people in the house and he will want to be like well why can't I go and see the people uh, yeah because there'll be gaps in my windows and we don't need you out there and everyone running after you like some sort of Benny Hill script but yeah that's happened before by the way <laughs> um, he, t he doesn't tend to disappear he just tends to like run around like a loon but anyway yeah life sometimes is frustrating very frustrating and this time at the moment is very frustrating me very frustrating me so all my plans have went out the window i was going to do some videos today and everything like that and obviously i ended up just sleeping and then feeling sorry for myself and then i watched nick and andrea and then i decided to do this video and try and quickly get it up because last week i put it out on monday because of my tonsillitis and it's meant to go up on a on a Sunday morning but it hasn't been oh god yes I will get there I will I will get there somehow I've got an appointment on the 2nd of March um, to speak to my consultant who's doing my gallbladder obviously I explained to him what's going on I did debate about ringing my doctor but I really don't see that the doctor will do anything because I'm under the consultant and because I've got an appointment so close you know like a couple of weeks away I can't see him doing anything um, and I mean I've tried a modium for the um, I've tried a modium for the diarrhea and it doesn't seem to work and I've tried um, and there's no painkillers really that hit the spot with with gallbladder pain apart from the morphine that's stick in your arm you know that kind of stuff which is like yeah you don't get that just asking your doctor so <laughs> but anyway i'm going to start whinging right i need to stop whinging because i'm sick of whinging like i'm annoying myself at being whingy but yeah need to find something to do as well so it's really getting on my nerves with stuff I am um, <laughs> I've seen this thing right for like I know this is totally just this has got nothing to do with weight loss so I apologize for telling you <laughs> but um I've seen this thing um a while ago it's like someone was making wreaths with like broken jewelry right so um, I, when was this? I don't know. A few weeks ago, I seen it. Anyway, so I bought this, this which is like what you wrap around the wreaths, and that grey packet here has polystyrene wreaths in it, right? So in the thing, they wrap this round polystyrene wreath, and then they glue it in place, obviously. Now. I'm not very crafty 
but it's one of the ideas that I've seen that I really liked. I thought, oh, I, I want to give that a try, you know. So we can do in bed, you know what I mean? And I think that I need things that I can do because I'm just driving myself mad. So anyway, I asked um, a couple of the charity shops when I was when I was that out. So it must be over a week ago now when I went into town. And I asked a couple of them if they had any broken jewellery or whatever. But one of them had about three bits in a bag and that was it. And another one kept it for somebody. So I was like, all right, thanks. Anyway, there's one, there's a charity shop not that far from me. So when I got home, I rang that, I Googled it and rang it. I can't get in it because it's like, I only got like the one thin doorway, you know. Um, it used to be a corner shop actually, but never mind, that's a different story. <laughs> so I rang that and um, this woman answered and um, called, called Lynn and I didn't realise that Post for Thought, which is the charity shop local to me, and uh, Paws, which is the woman that takes in all like the injured seagulls and animals that you know, people find and whatever, are the same thing, right? They also do pets, cats and dogs as well. But, um, so I was talking to her and I explained the situation. I said, do you have any broken jewellery or anything? Anyway, um, she says, oh, I'll have to speak to Michelle. I don't know who Michelle is, maybe she runs the shop. Um, but then I realised it was her, you know, afterwards, because her name is in my phone. So obviously it had come up, but I didn't realise when I ran, which is weird. And I don't know why I'm going all over the shop here, but yeah. Anyway, like I got around a conversation where about like sort of being stuck in bed and needing stuff to do and that. And she was like, oh, well, oh, and sorry, prior to that, no, was that before? Anyway, she didn't get back to me after a couple of days. So earlier this, earlier, yeah, this week earlier this week I've contacted her again um, and uh, asked her if she'd spoken to Michelle about this broken jury and then she said oh, I'm so sorry I, I haven't had time and just, there's so much to do blah 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 and um, so I just says well if there's anything that I can do if I can do from sitting at home you know what I mean I'm quite happy to help type of thing um, and uh, Anyway, she said something about, yeah, like, counting, I think it was like jigsaws and counting pieces and stuff. And I thought, well, that's fine if they're not huge. Because <laughs> I don't know how I'd get them. But, I mean, I can't get to the shop. It's not, because it's on the way to, like, Roker Park. So I can't get there. I just can't get in there. And I suppose I could get a couple at a time or something. I don't know. But anyway, she hasn't got back to me again, so I, I I don't know. It was just an idea, and obviously to get the broken jewelry. Um. To do that, you know what I mean. Um, I have got some bits of broken jewelry that are mine, and that my mum's were well, mum mum's actually. Um, but I don't think there's enough. I don't even think, do you know what it is? That's the worst thing with me is I get ideas and then I'm like, yeah, oh, it's not easy enough. <laughs> that is my terrible thing. I'll, I'll do something, but if I don't, if I'm not good at it instantly or I can't pick it up quickly, I get bored. Or it doesn't work the way I expect it to. And probably me and glue is not probably a good idea. But I thought, you've got to try it now because you brought the blinking stuff. And I was only going to buy, I'm just going to buy um, super glue. But like all of the people who do them who I've watched, or the couple of people that I did that, that I watched, have proper glue guns and stuff. But um, <laughs> I'll just glue myself to some stuff. That's probably what I'll happen. Anyway, I'm going to shut up waffling and I'm going to get this put up. I'll put the screenshot of the food thing in at the end. That's I think I said, didn't I? Did I say that it was 1,845? 1, 1, yeah, hopefully. Um, well, I will be back before next week's update because 
I will do an update on my weight, I think. Yeah. I'll probably put one out on Thursday for that. So that's when I'm getting weighed. And hopefully, like I said, I've lost I've lost a person. <laughs> and then I'll see you again. Sunday Monday. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Um what else have I got? Um Tuesday. I wanna get some videos recorded. I must do some videos recorded. Do those, Lainey, do those. <laughs> anyway. Definitely stop waffling now. I shall catch you later. Um, thanks very much for watching and bye bye.